Welcome sa ating channel. I'm so excited to present sa inyo ang pinakabagong cooler ng Deepcool, AK400. But as much as I'm so impressed pagdating sa kanyang design, and of course, I'm wearing a Deepcool hat, is it the same with the performance results? Yan yung alaman natin ngayon with this product review kung ito nga ba ang next budget cooler that you may consider. Now for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Upon opening the box and checking the aesthetics, automatically makikita nyo that this is kind of AK620 Little Brother. Maganda yung kanyang design and it's uh, neutral. Kumbaga, mag-fit siya sa kahit anong setup na gagawin mo. May it be uh, black and white or black or most likely those uh, setup na medyo minimalist na budget setup. Pero yun nga, ang pinaka-importante sa lahat kung usapan na is budget coolers is more on the performance over the aesthetics. Kasi hahanapin natin dito kung gaano ba kasulit yung product. There's no official pricing dito sa Pilipinas pagdating sa AK400 pero I believe that this cooler may be at a price tag of not more than 1,200 or at least mga nasa around 900 more or less. Yan yung aalamin natin with this AK400 performance test. Kung sulit nga ba at that price point na sinabi ko. Hopefully, it will not go beyond 1, 2. Start natin sa mga budget setup muna. Given na 80 watts lang ang ating processor at max performance, mapapansin nyo dito na yung kanyang results is hindi ganun ka-impressive. It is not a better cooler than those deep cool products na nagro-roll out sa ating market na Gamax 400 series. Ito is mas inferior and hindi na yun nakakapagtaka given the size of this cooler, given the heat pipes, and given the thickness ng kanyang fins. Mas mababa ang kanyang performance compared sa Gamax. Same with when we crank up the wattage going sa 100 watts which is most likely higher processors beyond Ryzen 5. Is still the cooler is not so impressive and it's even worse when we did the setup na noise normalize. Same with the 80 watts and 100 watts. Pero given na hindi tayo masyadong na-impress, I look for something why you should consider AK400. Given the price na 900 to 1200 and I pray na hindi beyond 1200 or 1100 or even 1000, this cooler may be the go-to cooler na pipiliin mo, especially yung capability or yung compatibility niya to have dual fan setup for better performance or for future upgrade path. At the same time, the fans use is so good like those AK620 na hindi ganun kaingay. Kaya naman when we did the noise normalize, 97% lang po ang naging adjustment natin. Kumbaga, 3% below the 100 or max RPM ng ating cooler. Walang masyadong adjustments na ginawa. At the same time, another thing why I should consider AK400 is of course the brand that is a reliable one pagdating sa mga budget coolers. Instead of going for those lower performing coolers or no name or no brand coolers sa Shopee and Lazada, kung 900 to 1000 ang aking budget, I may just go and settle down na lang sa AK400. May upgrade path, maganda ang kanyang fans, reliable ang kanyang fans. At the same time, syempre, is still a better cooler than those 900 more or less fans out there sa Shopee and Lazada. As you can see naman kung babalikan natin yung mga graph or yung mga benchmarks, may it be 100 watts or 80 watts or noise normalized or max performance, is still this is a far performing better cooler than those products. Pero yun nga, we set our expectations very high lang siguro why I'm not so impressed dahil I'm expecting that this new cooler is something that will replace those Gamax 400 series. Pero it's not what we got pagdating sa performance test. So, ibig sabihin lang po neto, this should not be priced higher than 1,200. And this is a very good budget cooler if that is the case dahil sa kanyang upgrade path. 
and the rest is up to you. I gave you the performance test, the impressions, insights, mataas lang masyado yung expectations ko, pero this is a very good budget CPU air cool. Now, keep posted sa mga local stores natin dyan. Sana hindi masyadong mataas yung pricing. And for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe.